What do you do with a broken carbide and mill? What do you do with a broken carbide and mill? What do you do with a broken carbide and mill early in the morning? Hi, and welcome to another episode of Making Things. Today, I'll be reusing some of these carbide end mills I've got. Uh, the big one came with my mill. The small one I made all by myself. And uh, I've seen a couple of videos out there on what you can do. And, you know, the, the most popular one at the end was, surprise, nothing, you can make a keychain. Um, whereas I actually did make uh, useful tools out of my broken end mills so far. Um, the first one being I uh, pointed the tip to get... Uh, um, a milling and uh, a drilling end mill, which I actually used to remove a high speed steel uh, drill bit that I had stuck in a high carbon content uh, puck of steel, um, in which I'd broken a bunch of other things as I was trying to extract it. So, you know, not useless. And what I'll be doing with the other is uh, I'll, be make, I'll be making a chamfering tools just by tapering them and cutting a face. So, let's get to it. Oh, and the context for the song, it's 3.30 in the morning, and uh, I couldn't sleep. I figured, why not go make some chamfering tools? So the way I went about this is I just cut four faces at 45 degree angles to make a little pyramid, and then I just rolled it to uh, smooth out the edges and made a cone. It was actually pretty easy. And, and I didn't really care that I was wearing quite a bit of the stone to do this, because it really needed to be dressed um, so uh, it still needs to be dressed to kind of finish it off but removing a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch or whatever I removed there was definitely helpful in this case. I had the bright idea that cutting flutes would somehow help or be useful, but nope. Although it did make a notch, which is good to know, it was pretty inefficient and ate up a wheel. In the end, what I tried to do is flatten one of the sides uh, up to the point, so that's the hardest part, is to make sure that it's flat really up to the tip. Um, I wish I'd thought of that when I first started off. I guess I would have just made one of the sides uh, easier right off the bat, but it, it really wasn't the end of the world, and uh, I guess now it's time to test it. Good job. So all in all, this did work pretty well, and compared to the two dollars I would have gotten from the scraps, um, I'm happy. Thanks for watching this, and have a good day.